The implantation of the bone preservation system comprises the RM Presvit Vitamus cup as well as the Optimus short stem in combination with a ceramic head with the goal of restoring the individual biomechanics of the hip joint while preserving a maximum of bone substance. These are uncemented implants, meaning they do not require any fixation involving cement. The primary fixation of these uncemented implants takes place via press fit anchorage, in which the so-called primary stability is achieved already intraoperatively by forceful impaction and chalking of the appropriately wedge-shaped components. Due to the isoelastic or conical design of the cup or stem respectively, very good primary stability can be ensured so that the, in the vast majority of cases, immediate full loading is possible after the surgery. The primary anchoring of the stem is done in a manner matching the anatomy of the patients by means of three-point fixation. However, the primary anchoring alone is not sufficient to ensure long-term stability and thus a long service life of the implant. The calcium phosphate coating, so-called bonit, serves to stimulate on growth of the bone onto the prosthesis. This process begins as early as the first week after surgery and provides so-called secondary stability when completed after about 12 weeks. This is particularly important in terms of a long service life of the implants. The process of the integration of the implant into the bone is illustrated below. Here, it should be noted, however, that in the first few weeks, stability is ensured via the primary anchorage and stable secondary anchoring is not completed until about week 12. Disturbances and overloading, especially in the first post-operative period, should be avoided as much as possible in order not to jeopardize the regular ingrowth of the implants. Use of crutches during the first four weeks is essential in this context. In the first post-operative period, high impact loads, in particular, could lead to micro-movements disturbing the process of ingrowth into the bone. After completion of the first four weeks, the process of integration has already advanced so far that the loading can be slowly increased. However, impact loads should still be avoided at this stage. After 12 weeks of regular healing, good secondary stability is achieved and no danger of the integration of implants is to be feared anymore. Overall, however, it is to be noted that artificial joints may likewise be subject to a certain amount of wear so that especially excessive practice of contact and endurance sports in particular cannot be unconditionally recommended. In summary, this means that during the first phase, especially stresses like impact loads, one-legged positions without support, wobble plate, maximum strength exercises should be avoided. In weeks 4 to 12, depending on the symptoms, loading such as walking without crutches, climbing up stairs without supports, cycling, increasing strength building can already be performed. Attention! In this phase, impact loads may still endanger integration of the implant. From week 12 on, most training and sports can be performed depending on the complaints. With regard to excessive practice of contact and endurance sports, there is currently no clear scientific evidence. However, increased wear of the implant material is likely. <laughs>